We've got an update now to a story that we've been following all weekend. We're now hearing from the family of the man who was hurt badly in that house explosion in St. Paul. Now, this is what it looked like. Firefighters say they showed up around 830 Friday morning to a house that was completely leveled. Family members tell us the victim is 80 year old John Lundahl. Carol Evans Sharon you spoke with his sister in law about how he's doing and what's next. The explosion happened in the 600 block of Payne Avenue. A familiar address being reported on the news on Friday is how the Lundahl family found out about John's home. My son-in-law is yelling, oh my God, it's Uncle John's house. Jeannie Lundahl is John Lundahl's sister-in-law. Her and her husband are currently in California, but have been on the phone daily with the hospital. Because he had broken his arm and apparently his elbow, and so they did surgery on that was a success. Jeannie says John suffered burns and is currently sedated. They haven't had the chance to tell the ex-Marine his beloved home is no longer there. That house was his castle. He loved that house. He loved working out in the backyard. He's a hard worker. Jeannie says John is tough, but also has a heart of gold, soft for the squirrels and birds in his backyard. That place was just his pride and joy, and I don't know what's going to happen when he finds out it's gone. With the horrific news yet to be shared, the family is quickly working to find a place John can stay at least for a while. He's going to look into the sea of getting into the VA uh, home or someplace because he's going to have to go into therapy. Jeannie describing a tough road of recovery for the body and heart for John. Johnny always said he's a, a tough Marine, ex-Marine. And so he's, like I said, he's going to make it. Sharon you, Carol 11 News.